In this lesson, we look at multiplication arrays. Let's think about five groups of three bears. So three bears firstly, one, two, three, and we're going to have five groups of them. Well, there's one group, two groups, three groups, four groups, five groups. So we've got five groups of three bears. Now let's count them all together. We have three so far. Another three makes six. Another three makes nine. Another three makes twelve. Another three makes fifteen. So five groups of three bears total fifteen bears. Now that's a sentence. We can write that as a number sentence as well. Five groups of three, we can write as five times three. The total is 15, we can write that it equals 15. Five times three equals 15. Okay, that's a number sentence. Now, what about three groups of five bears? So we've got five bears this time in each group. One, two, three, four, five. And this time, three groups. So there's our first group, our second group, our third group. Okay, we have three groups. Let's count them again, this time in fives. Five, 10, 15. So we can say that three groups of five bears total 15 bears. And writing that in a number sentence, three groups of five, three times five, the total is 15, we can write that it equals 15. So we have three times five equals 15. Now let's consider what we've seen. Five groups of three bears, we had 15. Then we looked at three groups of five bears. We also got 15. Five groups of three bears is five times three, or as we know, five lots of three, and it equals 15. Three groups of five bears, we can write three times five, which of course means three lots of five. Again, that equals 15 as well. So look at that, five times three equals 15, three times five equals 15. It doesn't seem to matter what order we multiply in, and it doesn't, okay? Doesn't matter what order we multiply two numbers in, we'll get the same answer. Very important to remember that. Examples, use arrays or diagrams to help you find, in part A, three times four. Now three times four means three groups of four, okay? Three lots of four. So let's think of four monkeys. One, two, three, four monkeys there. That's our one group. We want three groups, okay? So we've got one group, a second group, and a third group. We now have three groups. Let's count them. We've got four. Another four makes eight. Another four makes 12. So we can say that 12 is our answer there. So three times four, three lots of four equals 12. Great. Part B, seven times five, okay? Seven lots of five. We can think of that as being seven groups of five. Now, a group of five, what about five puppy dogs? Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Very cute, aren't they? So that's our one group. We want seven groups. So we've got one group there, two groups, three groups, four groups, five groups, six groups, finally seven groups. Let's count them in fives. We've got five there. Another five makes 10. Another five is 15. Another five makes 20. Another five is 25. Another five is 30. One more five would make 35. 
So we can say 35 is our answer there. So 7 times 5, or 7 lots of 5, equals 35. Terrific. Part C, 9 times 10. Or another way of saying that is 9 lots of 10. 9 lots of 10, same as 9 groups of 10. So let's think of 10. We'll use 10 little cubes this time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's our one group. We want nine groups. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We've got nine groups of 10 there. Let's count them. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So 90 is our answer. 9 times 10, or 9 lots of 10, equals 90. Excellent. Well, that concludes the lesson. Good luck with your questions.